Hello and welcome to this week's video. Uh, as mentioned in last week's video, in this week's video, what we're going to be looking at is editing our shot of Raven Rock during sunrise. Before we get into that, I will say um, I'm going to take a little hiatus for a couple of weeks because I've got uh, some big stuff coming up and it is unlikely that I will be able to make my weekly video quota without overloading myself. So um, we're just going to not do a couple of weekly uploads. We will be back eventually, but unfortunately, we have to take this short hiatus. All right. That being said, let's go ahead and get into Affinity Photo. Uh, I've gone ahead and merged together the images um, because we took a bracketed exposure. The intention was to use an HDR merge. So I've gone ahead and done that, and we're going to start in the tone mapping persona. First thing I like to do is decrease the compression. Um, and then up the contrast a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna, just going to apply a curve here. Right lower the bottom. Raise the top just a little bit. Looks to me like we should probably take the highlights down a little. Because we want those kind of nice deep colors on the sun. Alright. That looks probably as good as we're going to get the tone map persona. So the first thing we want to do is go up to document, convert format, and we want to put it into a 16-bit RGB. That way we won't get weird artifacts when we start modifying this. Okay, so first thing I want to do um, is mess with the white balance. I didn't want to do this in the tone map persona, um, just because it can sometimes be a little bit more extreme than I want. So let's try warming this up, right? Get those nice oranges in the sky. Uh, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a unsharp mask. Just so that we can, I'm not going to go crazy with it. Um, but what we are going to do is we are going to just apply it to the rock. Because that's kind of what we want to emphasize in this. I don't need to pick the right paint color. Right. So that just makes the rock pop a little bit more. All right, so with that done, um, what we're going to look at is the sky, and specifically what we want is uh, to do a color balance adjustment. All right, and we're going to look at our highlights because that's what we want to affect. Do we want more yellow, or do we want more blue? I don't know, I think something more on the yellow side, and then we're also going to do a more red, but we don't want to overdo it, right? And then more of a magenta. Right, that's going to give us the sky colors we want, but we don't want it to affect anything down here, so we're only going to paint in the sky, and we can just kind of paint with a very broad brush here. Um... There we go, we have a more dynamic sky now. Um, so another thing we're going to want to do is open up the curves adjustment, because I want all this gray to be much darker, because I think it looks nicer. So, we're just going to drop the curves down, invert, and then we're going to paint in this valley here. Now, we don't want to paint in the rock, because... This rock face is kind of the, the subject, right? So I'm just going to do this very quick. Zoom in and get some of the finer details. Okay, zoom out. All right. Um, yeah, let's also paint in on top. Just add a little nice little bit of contrast. We're doing this kind of fast and loose, but you get the idea. Right. 
the value looks a lot nicer now. And um, so that's it for adjustments. Um, now let's look at cropping. So we kind of want this on the third line, right? So let's, um, let's just use the original three by two ratio. Let's make this a little bit larger. Let's place it right about there. Okay, I think that crop makes it look very nice. So there you have it. That's the quick edit of um, our shot of Raven Rock at sunrise. All right, so that was a quick, easy edit. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, hopefully you learned something. Um, you know, this is my process. Your process can be different. Uh, it's all salt and pepper to taste, right? Okay, so um, if you have any suggestions on how you would have edited it, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. And if you would subscribe, that would help me a lot. Uh, and if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when we have new videos because we will be on a couple weeks hiatus. And um, that's it. I'll see you when I see you.